Hey, for my it's me, the Evil Monster, and today I'm going to be unboxing this month's uh, Marvel Collector Core. Yeah, that's what they're still calling it, and this month's theme is Marvel 10 Years Studio, yada, yada, yada. Um, this box is quite disappointing. I already know what's in this, and I'm sure most of you do as well. And if you don't, you're probably watching this way in the future. But... Uh, this is just, this is just a bit of a disappointing box, you know, 10 years of one of the biggest franchises of all times, and, you know, they didn't put that many good things in here. Maybe it was licensing, maybe it's just, they, I'm not gonna figure, um, maybe it's just they made more money, they, they saved money doing this, so, let's just start off with the stupid thing first, so, yeah, Pez. I don't like Pez. I never liked. I mean, maybe I was a kid. When I was a kid, maybe I liked it, but uh, I don't. I don't. Know, I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of Pez, and you know, I, I don't even want this. I just want the candy. So give me the candy, and yeah, that's good. And of course, my box is damaged. So that's cool. So we get two pint-sized heroes. I hate these things. Um, I think they're pointless, and they're tedious, and they're repetitive. Uh, they're just basically dwarves mixed with mystery minis. It's just not a good combination. So we have Thor. Golden Thor. And looks like he has freaking pubic hair on his face. And then this one I don't mind so much. I mean, it's, it's, it's alright. No, no, I prefer to rather have it in full color. So we have Thanos. Probably going in the trash if I'm going to be totally honest. Just because, you know, but... Okay, we got Hulk. Uh, uh, the head looks cool. I'll give it that. But, you know, it's just like... I don't know. I never got the concept of Pez. Anyway, so... Yeah, that's it for everything else. And the this, this They gave us a movie moment. And mine's severely damaged. Uh, and it's just kind of... Here's the thing. Movie moments is not for everyone. I don't mind it. I, I think it's a good concept if you do the right movies and whatever. But... This one's okay. The reason why they put it in the box is because no one was going to buy it. Um, <laughs> seriously, I'm not even kidding. Maybe, you know, I think they should have put something noteworthy in this and then make, make this a, a Comic-Con exclusive for an SDCC that's coming up pretty, well, not pretty soon, but it's coming up within less than a year, so... Uh, let's just try to get this out of the box. And it's, again, it's severely damaged. Uh, I'm not, like, a lot of people said they were going to get rid of this. I'm not, because I actually still think it looks pretty cool, but it's just not a good thing to put in here. But it, you can tell it's very damaged. Uh, if I saw this in stores, I would not, like, this exact box, you know, the damage. I would not pick it up. Uh, but you got Whiplash versus Iron Man. The Iron Man looks really cool. I like the Whiplash lashing things. I like that, but... Uh, yeah, it's just not a proper movie moment. It should have been... Maybe... Like, I heard someone recommend this. Maybe the Avengers standing in a circle. And that awesome shot. Like, that would be a good movie moment, but maybe that's just too many pops. I don't know. Uh, what else could you do? Uh, Iron Man putting on the first armor. Iron Man is standing there put with all the armor coming onto him. Um, I was going to say Captain America, but they already did one of those, like the most memorable one. Uh, what else could they do? <laughs> Can't really do anything from Infinity War because they already did that. Uh, they they put those out in store because they know people will buy those and not this, um, which is ex incredibly unfortunate. I think you know there's a lot of people unsubscribed from this box, from this box in particular, and the only thing that's keeping them around is next month's box, with which is. Um, uh, X-Men. You know, so, people started, when they, when this box started, this was the first one they ever did, uh, or, you know, before Star Wars, before Disney, before DC. I wish they would bring back DC, because DC was probably the best box. Um, 
But anyways, so they started off with Marvel, and every box came with a pop. That's it. There was one box that didn't come with a box, uh, a pop, blah, blah. And everyone fucking shit on Like, everyone hated that box, including me. I did not like that box one bit. We got a couple cool things, but we get these boxes to get pops, okay? You know, exclusive. More exclusive than rare pops. And when you're giving... When Funko is giving us things we... A lot of people don't want, like movie moments and... Uh, pint-sized hero. Okay, the pint-sized heroes is okay, because... It's like little added features. And Pez, like, not a lot of people like the Pez. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I'll eat the candy. Like, seriously, uh, I, I don't like the candy either. I think the candy tastes like shit. But I'll eat the candy. Um, like, it's just like, it tastes like medicine. Like, it's, uh, it's the size of medicine. It tastes like medicine. You know, whatever, but. It's not a video shitting on Pez, alright? Let's just get that out of the way. Pez did nothing wrong here. Funko did something wrong. They seem to get everything right nowadays except for these boxes. Like, the Disney Treasures, I think those have been doing okay. I haven't been getting them just because there's nothing there for me. Uh, I'm getting out of Disney in a little bit. But, like, I'll get the movies I like, like Rick and Ralph. I'll get, I'll get that, I'll get Lion King, I'll get... Toy Story, you know, not the, you know, I don't know, not the ones where they're making different variants every f five seconds, uh, that's just for Disney, for Star Wars, I'll probably still do that, uh, I miss the Star Wars boxes too, I mean, shit, but, again, they're giving us things we don't want, <clears throat> I certainly didn't want the and if I did, I would have bought it in stores. These things are ridiculously expensive, too. Um, and that's why they're not selling well. But, on Amazon, they are going down in price. And, you know, they say, support your store. Like, okay, like Magic the Gathering, for example, they say, go support your local game store. But this thing is really expensive, but on Amazon it's 10 20 bucks cheaper. So yes, you want to support your game store, but yes, you got to watch out for your money. That's kind of how this is. You know, yes, you want to support Barnes & Noble, you want to support Hot Topic, but you, you got you to gotta watch your money, you know? So, uh, personally, I, I think it looks cool. I'll give it that. But, I'm not going to get rid of it, because I think it looks cool. I, I like this movie moment. It's probably one of the best scenes in that entire movie. Not a very good movie, granted, and that's one reason why a lot of people are crapping on this. Because they, they didn't even put the movie in it. They just said Marvel uh, Studios. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm back. They put the movie in it. But, I don't know, maybe Guardians, when... Like, Guardians of the Galaxy, a scene from that, uh, I don't know. I really don't. So, uh, it's unfortunate that Funko is literally shoving things we don't want down our throats while we're paying a lot of money. This is not an ex a cheap box. Um, I mean, last... The last box, Venom, that was a pretty good box. We got a stress ball, which, whatever. We got a sticker, which I actually really like. I put on my uh, laptop, which is not with me right now. Um, they gave us a, door, a pint size. Whatever, I think. Uh, and a t-shirt and the pot. The pot was amazing. The pot is one of the coolest pots of the year. Okay, and I say that with a lot of pops nowadays, so that should, like, either that's a really high bar or a really low bar, but it is a really cool looking pop, very unique, very different, and that's what we want from these boxes, you know, um, and they gave, they gave us a t-shirt, that, the t-shirt and the pop are the two reasons why most people are subscribed to this, this box, uh, like, I remember, you know, the original Marvel Collector Core. Patch, pin, t-shirt, pop. 
That's all you needed. That's what made the box worth it. Plus a little extra. This, it's like it's going, it's going too out of the place. It's going too out of order. Maybe six inch pops, pops, two packs, whatever. I know a lot of people don't like two packs either because it disrupts the collection. Like they make pop walls like this, it disrupts the collection. I actually squeezed in a couple two packs in here, which I'm very grateful I can do, and it still looks. Good. It looks a little weird. It looks like a TV, you know, like the box TV, but. Yeah, man. It, yeah. Funko, just keep. Just give us pops. Straight up pops. That you know, what people will like. Most people will like. And not movie moments where you can clearly see that it's not selling as well as in pops. And, you know. I don't know. That's all I can say, honestly. You, you know. Plus, my box is damaged. Which, you know, I've been kind of like, I'll, I'll look for the good box, but if I don't, then I'm just looking at the paint job. I care more about the paint job than... Well, I care, it's just the same. Before, it used to be the box of the paint job, now it's, you know, it's the same. So, anyways, yeah, that is my uh, thoughts on this month's box. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to put. I'm going to say unboxing and thoughts and how to fix uh, Marvel's Collector Core, you know. Patch, pin, t-shirt, pop. Boom. That's it. That makes a great box. Maybe it'll make it a little cheaper, but that's, you know, that's kind of pushing it. Uh, and extra things, you know, like, a comic, okay? I never read the comic books. I have enough shit to read, so I'm not too worried about that. But, well, I mean, they give us, you know, little extra tidbits. Like, they gave us dorms sometimes, which is fine, but they're not going to do that anymore because they're phasing dorms out. Watch, this next X-Men box, they're going to put a vinyl in it. 20 bucks says they're going to put a vinyl in it of uh, maybe Wolverine and Cyclops. That, if they do that, I'm telling you this right now. If they do that, if they do anything besides a pop, if they do pop movie moment, if they maybe a pop ride, even a pop ride. If they do dorms, which I don't think they will. If they do vinyl, if they do anything besides pops, one pop, or maybe two, you know, Two separate pops. Everyone will be pissed. And put a t-shirt in there too. Because that will make... That will redeem Funko a little bit. So. Yeah. That is how you fix Marvel Collector Core. Uh, this I, this box was... I'm not going to lie. It's disappointing. I don't want the Pez. It's a waste of space. I don't want Dorbs. See. Pike Size Heroes. They're a waste of space. They're tedious. They don't look that great either. They look pretty stupid. Um, and I guess you could say that for Pops, too, but I don't think they look that stupid. Like, I think, I think they look very unique. You don't, you won't see this anywhere else in the collecting, in the uh, collector's world of shopping. And, like, you'll see copycats of this, but they won't go anywhere near this kind of look. So, I've had this box for a long time, actually. I don't have the box for this. That's how long I've had it, because when I started collecting, I threw away the boxes. <sighs> That's how you fix Marvel Collector Core. If you can't get that, then you should stop. Just people should unsubscribe then, because if I had known that this was gonna be the box, I don't know if I would have. I probably would have pressed past, um, honestly, because this this alone is going for thirty up to forty bucks, and the box is I believe thirty, maybe thirty five. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, man, so that's how you fix, I know I keep saying it. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and comment down below how you think Marvel Collective Core should be. How I say, path, pin, t-shirt, pop. There, boom, done, bit, bada bing, bada boom, done. Boom, shakalaka, skadoosh. Uh, bad boy game. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Like, Funko's, like, Funko's been doing everything right. The subscription boxes they can never get. Cause I get it. Throw this in here, people, and force it down people's throat because they aren't gonna, they aren't buying this. Why don't I want to be a cool movie moment? Captain America, Winter Soldier. Captain America throws the shield, and Winter Soldier ca turns around and catches it. That would be awesome movie moment, and that would be very easy. Just make Captain America look like he threw something. And make Winter Soldier just catching something. That, that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. Thanks for letting me ramble and rant. Bye.